In this video, we're going to show you how to connect to your Shopify store. If you search on the Shopify App Store for Go Custom Clothing Print On Demand, or you'll also find a link to this within our own website, click on to add the app, and this will ask you permissions to add the app to your Shopify installation. Click on install the app, and this will complete the installation. Once installed, it will ask you to link your account. Now, in our case here, we already have an existing account. If you haven't created an account, you'll need to register for one first. In this case, we'll just link our existing account. And now it takes you to the screen, which you will see if you ever access the app from within Shopify. Here, you can explore or create new products, link existing products, manage your products, edit your brand, or go straight through to view all the details of your account. Let's go and explore and create a new product. This takes you to our product catalog where you can go through and choose the product which you would like to make. Here we're going to choose a sustainable t-shirt from Stanley Stella. At this point it brings up the garment creator where you can see all the details about the product including all the different sizes and the colors available. You choose the color that you want to work with. In this case we'll work with Atlantic Blue. And then we're going to add an image by uploading one from our desktop. This is a high res image, so we'll print perfectly well. And this can be resized to whatever size you want and you can move the position around. And set this to how you would like it to be shown when it's printed on the garment. Within this same space, we can add multiple lines of text, multiple images to create one piece of artwork. Here you can see how we can edit the text. We also have lots of choices with the text in terms of sizing. You can choose the font. So here, let's choose a different font. You can also set paragraph style. You can choose a fill color, you can add a stroke to it if you wish. There's lots of different settings that you can make with text. So that's the front design done. Now on this particular product, we have three print areas, including the back and the nape of the neck. We'll just add a logo here to the nape of the neck. You'll see this has got bad quality. This is because it's a low resolution file. You should really try to upload high resolution files. We can view a mock-up here of what the product will actually look like, and these images will be sent to Shopify once we create the product. So that's all the settings made now for this product. We're ready to save this product to your library on Go Custom Flow and Dropshipping. And to do that, we click on Create Product. It gives you a warning again about the low DPI image, which you can go past. Then it creates the product within our platform. This product is now ready for you to connect to Shopify or any other integrations that you may have. You can choose to rename the product if you wish to here. And if you click on the little green icon above the product, you can see export. And this is how we're going to send it to Shopify. So this opens the product up again. You're able to change the title. This is the title that will actually be shown on your Shopify store. The description below that is also what will automatically be sent to your Shopify store. You can, of course, alter that at any time. You can add more images if you wish and change the text. We'll set a starting price here. This price will be sent over to Shopify and you can choose whether the item is published automatically or not when it's sent to your Shopify store. Now there's lots of variants of this product. Here we can see for this color, we can see all the different size variants. So you can choose to add all the sizes of one color or you can choose to add multiple colors. Here we've added all of the colors in the size 2XS. You can see how easy it is to add variants. We can choose to just add individual variants if we wish. So we choose a color and a size, and then just click on add selective variant and that will add just the one. Or you can click on add all variants and this will add every single variant to your Shopify catalog. This really depends on what you want to offer your customers. Once you're ready, press export to Shopify. 
and the process will begin to send all the information to Shopify. You can then click to view on Shopify and this will immediately take you to your product view on your store. How this looks will depend on the theme that you're using on your Shopify store. You can also look in the back end of Shopify and you'll see if you look at products here, this product has been added and you can go and change any of the text or the information related to the product, you can update the prices and various things. It's important that before you start to sell items from Gold Custom Clothing that you set up your shipping matrix with weight-based shipping. There's a separate video that tells you how to do this to make sure that you use the correct shipping rates when shipping products to your customers.